I'll run through the process. First of all, you cast your model like you do in normal Crane and Bridge. Then you'll put this model into a scanner. The scanner will take pictures of the model and then you will design whatever you want onto that model. So for instance, if it's a bridge, you'll tell your scanner and software, I'm, I'm making a bridge and you'll design it with your computer. Once you've designed it, you'll press a button and that design will go into your CAD CAM software. That is the software that runs your Roland milling machine. That tells the Roland where to cut, how to cut, where you want things cutting. So you'll, you'll put your design into, you'll see a disc on the screen like this. So you'll put, place your designs on the disc, it takes literally seconds. Press one more button, that's it. And you can forget about your jobs until it's finished milling and you just take your disc out and there's your jobs. Uh, it's not a case of you can only use your disc once. You can, if you've only got a few like this case, there's only four on this, it'll mill four out for you. You could take that disc out. The next time you've only got a few, this isn't wasted, you use this again. So all you do is make sure you position it in the same place. We put a line down the front. Make sure it goes in the machine in the same position and you can just pick up any, any disc that you want and just reuse that disc, whatever's left. So all your discs get fully used up, there's no wastage. On the wax disc we can fit about an average of about 28 units on a wax disc, depending on whether the molars or anterior teeth. Uh, the zirconia, you can fit about 22 on a zirconia disc because the zirconia ones are milled bigger than they, than they need to be and then when they're sintered, when they go in the furnace to be sintered, they shrink back. So because they're bigger, obviously you can't fit as many in. Uh, but, but still, you can, you, can get, yeah, you can get about 22. Maybe, maybe more if the small anterior teeth, you could push it to about 26, 27 sometimes. Depends on the cases really. Oh, it's very cost effective, yes. And I go back to the fact that it's cost effective if you can source your own materials for the discs. For instance, the zirconia, there's many, many places on the market you can buy zirconia. So obviously, you choose the zirconia like you do with everything. You choose the one that suits you at the price that suits you and the quality that suits you. You don't want to be tied in with just one manufacturer. Another great benefit of this machine, and this, as a technician, is one of my favourite benefits, temporary bridges. I, personally hate making temporary bridges. Temporary bridges used to be the bane of my life. I hated getting them. Now they're one of my favourite things because we can design a temporary bridge on the software, press the button and the machine will mill a temporary bridge. It's virtually finished. We just have to cut it off and polish it. These discs come in all different shades so it's simple to just design a temporary bridge and polish it and they're so much better than the ones. Even though I'm very good, the machine can do them better. They're so much better than what I can do. Uh, I don't like to admit that, but it's the truth. It, it makes them to perfection. I love temporary bridges now. Love them. <laughs>